Hey guys. So today we're doing Joey's six month update. Right baby? Right baby? Right baby? We're doing your six month update. I love you. Yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh. Yes, 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 yes. You're so precious. You want your toy? Okay, my mom's gonna set you down for one second. One second, one second. Don't cry, okay? You're a big girl. This is Jolie, everyone. My beautiful child. My smart, intelligent, funny, weird little baby, just like her mama. Say hey. Say hey. Hey. Say hey. See, I'm still in my pajamas. So, um, I have a little paper here from when I took her to the doctor the other day for her six month appointment. Um, her BMI was 15.60, which was in the 18th percentile. She weighed 14 and a half pounds, 16th percentile. Her height was 25.39 inches. 25.39, so that's the 28th percentile. Um, her head circumference was 42.5 centimeters which was the 58th percentile and her temperature was 98.3 i don't think that's really necessary but yes that was our appointment and pretty much we just talked about developing nutrition sleep she got some shots um what else joe so i made a little list on my phone <gasps> my phone's acting stupid of course it would do that okay so for her six month update we're gonna talk about her drool. Jolie is drooly Julie because she's always drooling. Right, baby? Say, I'm always drooling. So, we, I think that she's probably going to start teething soon. Her gums, I can tell, are already itching her because she'll, like, put her finger in her mouth. Or she'll try to put my finger in her mouth. Or she'll just, like, bite on her toys and, like, suck and chew on them. Mm, right? You want, you want this? Mr. Wubba and this is Jibu this is her second Jibu the first Jibu got left at her dad's house after an argument and like I refused to ask for it so I just had to buy another one I should probably buy like two more of these because she loves it I'm not really too sure what she's trying to do right now but what are you doing? you don't want your toys? no? Do you want your toy? Um, so yeah, so as far as like her teething goes, it's just like, I'm kind of nervous. I hope like it's not too bad because I, I don't want to deal with that. Um, I mean, I'm not going to have a choice but to deal with it, but I'm just like nervous. Like... We just got to a point where we're like sleeping a little bit better. She was sleeping through the night and then I don't know what happened. Then she stopped sleeping through the night. So it's like, okay, if you're about to start teething and being up and fussy at night, I don't know how to deal with that. So um, that's that. So that's how sleeping goes. Um, eating, Jolie is breastfed, but she does take formula. I feel like my milk supply has gone down now that I've introduced um, solids. So I'm trying to like eat my oatmeal, stay hydrated. I have a really big issue with um, with staying hydrated. It's really hard for me. I struggled while I was pregnant too. But I've been trying, you know, to try to get it back up. And then I'm taking like these um, funnel Greek supplement things too. I need to buy some more. I'm about to run out, but just like my funds, my funds. Um, so that's that. But Joey, when she's with me, her eating schedule is like really all over the place. And um, whenever she wants the titty. I just pop out the boob. 
Hi, Mama. So yeah, that's that's how we do. Like whenever Jolie eats, that's when Jolie eats. Whenever she wants to eat, she eats. It's not like a scheduled thing, which is kind. Of, it's not really stressful because it's not like I have to make anything. Um, so that's that. As far as like sleeping and naps go. Jolie's naps are a little bit longer, but sometimes she'll do like a 30 minute cat nap and it's like really frustrating because I'm just like, okay, I can get all this stuff done. I can do this. I can do that. I can do this. I can do that. And then she's up and then I can't because Jolie likes attention. She likes to be held. She likes to be talked to. She likes to be in the same room. She doesn't like to be left for long. She has her moments where she can play for a really long time by herself. Right? You can play for me like by yourself. You can play for me like by yourself. But um, after that, she like, nah, where y'all at? Right? You say, nah, where y'all at? Where y'all at? Hey, baby. What are you trying to do? Uh, 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 That's what you say. Jolie babbles. She has her little, she sounds like a little dinosaur. And it's so cute because she like shrieks really loud. If she doesn't do it during the video, then I'll insert a little clip. Um, yeah, Jolie, Jolie makes all sorts of little sounds. I do feel like she's, ow, you're scratching me, I need to clip your nails. I do feel, I do feel like, um, like she, she's a good communicator. Like, I can talk to her and she'll talk back to me. Like, we can have a whole conversation and I promise y'all I know what she's saying back to me. Like, people be like, you can't put words in her mouth. Look, this is what sis said and I'm telling you what sis said. Right now. What else is on the list? Um, interaction. As far as like alertness, tummy time, being in the rocker, smiles, cool, cuddles, and kisses. Jolie is really interactive, like I said. Like she'll talk back to you, she'll look at you, she'll follow stuff, she'll smile at me from across the room, she'll like listen to my voice and follow it from across the room. Um I'm Jolie's favorite person. Um and I take a lot of pride and pleasure in that. I think my grandma might be her next favorite person. And like, I'm not salty about that, but like, I'm Jolie's favorite person, okay? You always gotta love the food source. But she gets all her nighttime cuddles from me and all her other daytime cuddles from me. What? What's wrong? You about to start fussing? You about to start fussing? Are you hungry? Do you want to lay down? But this is your video. You can't lay down. First. So as of right now, she's in stage two. I'm thinking they might be getting a little small. I don't know. But because I just switched over to stage two not too long ago. So they're probably not. But I've been using, okay. My favorite brand of diapers at first was the, the pure brand, like the Pamper Pure um i was using that for a while and then i switched to like pampers swaddlers um which i still have like some left over but i've been using like the huggies um as of right now and it's hard as a new mom like knowing which brand of diapers is your favorite brand because it's not like you've ever dealt with diapers before unless it's like you've been around kids like that and i haven't so i don't know what brand of diapers is my favorite but at first i like strictly stuck to the pamper pure line um and it was working for me but i just wanted to like switch and see if there was something else better that i liked um so that was that but i really liked the pure one because it was sensitive and that's usually what i go for in her pampers because you know the the yoni is very sensitive and like we need to protect that. What what? Huh? You showing them your patch? Jolie has a little patch back here. Her little hair is patchy. Ow ow ow! ow Jolie, your nails are sharp. Ow 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 ow. Jolie's eye color is the same as mine. I don't know if y'all can see it good. So at first she had a really bad baby acne when she was younger. You don't want me talking about your baby acne? And then like now her skin's breaking out and I don't know like 
what it is um she has like shaping at on like her neck um so the doctor had prescribed us some like powder at one point but she told us we could stop and just start using a and d ointment um so that's what i've been doing as far as clothes okay jolie can fit zero to three but it's like nice and snug on her body but it's too tight in her yoni area um and like you know we're not gonna cause any diaper rashes because your your onesies are a little too tight so we're in three to six months now that's that's what we're in i just like transferred over and i've had some three to six months clothes but i didn't do three to six months shopping um and she was really small when she was born so i didn't get a lot of this like those sizes at my baby shower um so i've just recently started buying like three to a mixture of three to six months and six to nine because although i don't have that many three to six months clothes she's gonna be out of that stuff soon because i think I'm not sure what the sizing goes for three to six, but I'm pretty sure that I think it's after 14. 14. Oh, did I look you? Did I look you? No. I don't think I looked her. So as far as like, so it's three to six. So pretty much I bought her six month pants and nine month pants and then like some six to 12 months. And then as far as like onesies go, I recently bought um, three to six onesies and six to nine months. Just so like I have some three to six, but more so the six to nine being that she'll be able to get more wears out of them. Um, the shopping that I recently did for her I was actually like baby thrifting. Um, I don't know if you guys would be interested in watching a video on that. I know like some people are like really against baby thrifting because some people don't like to use used clothes for their babies. But to me it would have been the same thing if I got clothes from like a family member or friend. So hey baby. So that's <laughs> that's how I felt about it. Uh, Jolie's hair, you know, it's it's growing. Her patch was like balder, but I guess the hair is coming back now. I usually use the, um, I can't think of the shampoo. I can put it in the description box for her hair. Um, and then I put um, castor oil on it. Sometimes I do coconut oil, but I feel like the coconut oil doesn't like hydrate as much. Um, if you guys know any like good products for moisture, because I like... I want to like seal in more moisture in her hair and I don't think just alone that the oil is doing it. I know like they say that oh you don't really have to do anything to the baby's hair but I think that that may be where some of us fail sometimes. So no chemicals or anything on her hair just in case if she has like a bad reaction to it. Do you want to sit down? You see you've been rubbing your face all on my shirt and then it's red. Is this what it's coming from, Joe? Is this what it's coming from? Up by herself a little bit. She likes to, no, no, we're not standing. This is what she does. Y'all probably can't even see her. Joe. No, we're not standing. She'll stretch out her body.